I was trying to hold it in, but I couldn't. I knew I wasn't going to be able to. Kemba Walker's homecoming against the Charlotte Hornets was met with a standing ovation. And following his tribute video, fans applauded him for the eight years that he spent representing this city. But afterwards, it was right back to business for both of these teams as the Celtics, they took a nine-point lead heading into halftime. And after a slow first half for Kemba Walker, he turned it on in the third quarter, dropping 11 points in that quarter alone as the Celtics would down the Hornets 108-87 to to grab their sixth consecutive win. The video which is, just topped it off really. You know, it, was, it was super special and it definitely, you know, obviously made me you know, really emotional. I was trying to hold it in, but I couldn't. I knew I wasn't going to be able to. You knew right after they played that video that probably was going to be a tough start. Um, you know, that was really cool and great tribute by the Hornets. Uh, I know how much he appreciated it. And, uh, you know, going out and playing a game after spending nine years here is probably really difficult. I expect it, but I'm very happy that they gave him a tribute video. Um, he more than deserved that. Um, so he got emotional, uh, but as he should. Um, he gave that organization everything. Um, but, you know, he, he'd tell you first and foremost he wanted to, to get a win. That's, that's all he cared about, but um, we did. Now, in terms of what's working so well for this Celtics team, Brad Stevens told the media post game that this group, well, they're playing hard and they're playing together. And that's a great combination. The Celtics will now look to close out this road trip with a win against the San Antonio Spurs on Saturday night.